Hey people, it's Dan Phoenix here. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about why I have quit the carnivore diet for good, and that is because it was making me way too skinny and lean. And if you're someone that's been watching my YouTube channel, even when I switched to the carnivore diet late of last year, once a vegan diet after six years completely destroyed my health holistically, so I couldn't even function in my everyday life. Yes, once I switched to the carnivore diet, it started getting me to a point very quickly where I was thriving to a level that I never had done in my whole human experience. It resolved every different single health issue and symptom and gave me loads of other benefits that I never even knew or could even imagine that it was going to give me. So you think, well, why would you quit it? Well, yeah, it's just made me too lean. That's one thing that I found on the carnivore diet. I could not gain body weight. Even when I was eating 300 grams of protein or more a day, unlike what a lot of people will tell you once you switch to a carnivore diet, where they're saying that you'll gain loads of weight. And a lot of people kept saying it to me. I can't wait to see your transformation. Well, guess what? With my body transformation, it never happened. But when I was on a vegan diet, I gained around 10 kilos of muscle within a year if you haven't seen that body transformation which is done within a year click the link for the video up above that video has almost six million views it's the biggest video on this channel but i didn't get those types of results on a carnivore diet whatsoever it just wasn't happening for me and yet at one point i did experience fatigue on a carnivore diet but i found that i needed some animal carb based food sources so started adding in raw milk and raw honey. And I talk about that whole experience of it giving me fatigue. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link for it up above. And yeah, once I did that, it resolved the fatigue issues that I ended up experiencing later down the line with a carnivore diet. And I thought, due to adding in way more calories and adding in these very, very nutrient rich food sources, that I would gain weight. But guess what? It didn't happen. Yet, with certain friends, that I know that did a similar thing, it worked for them, but we're not all the same. I have an insanely fast metabolism, and it seems every time that I either get on some sort of keto diet or high protein diet that is very, very low in carbohydrates, I just lose weight really rapidly. I just cannot put on weight on those diets no matter how hard I try and I'm someone that has a body type known as ectomorph, and if you don't know about these, or if you do, you will know or not know that the people that have a body type of an ectomorph find it really, really hard to put on weight. For me to get obese, it is pretty much near on impossible. Even if I eat loads of crappy food consistently and don't do a lot of exercise. And if you just look throughout my whole family, this is something that just seems to be a genetic thing, which is obviously a really, really good thing. A lot of people would love to have that. So yeah, after trying really, really hard to gain weight on that diet, it just wasn't happening. It ended up as low as 60 kilos, which is very, very low. That's about 125 pounds, 130 pounds. And I was not someone that needed to get any leaner whatsoever. So it just got to the point where I was like, you know what, I don't wanna be this lean anymore. I look quite emaciated. If you look in this photo, yes, I do look very lean and ripped, but when you compare it to this photo of when I was at my heaviest whilst on a vegan diet, and this was at the end of my year transformation, I think the physique on a right, where I actually had 10 kilos more of body weight, I look a more healthier. Don't know what your opinion is, leave it down below. So yeah, I just got to a point where I was like, enough is enough, I need to switch up things. So I first started experimenting with white rice, which I've had nothing but amazing benefits from it and no negative effects whatsoever. Sourdough bread, as well, adding in raw butter and a variety of other different carb sources such as boiled potatoes and so on. And guess what? They don't seem to affect me in a negative way in any way, shape or form. All they've done is actually increase my energy levels, make me feel better all around, make it so I have more strength and energy levels and endurance and stamina during my workout so I can actually train harder and train more consistently and a whole host of other benefits as well. So the benefits I got from the carnival diet, adding in the carbs is just taking it to the next level. And it may change later down the line. Maybe I start not feeling good for them. There's a lot of people that don't. But for me where I'm at now, it seems that I can eat these with having no issues whatsoever. And what I wanna say is just because it's working for me, it may not work for you. Some people that really don't feel good from carb sources whatsoever, and they do very well on a carnival diet, and they don't get to a super low body weight, which is not the most optimal body weight for them to be as healthy as possible and have the best hormone production as well. Because when you get too lean, it does actually mess up your hormone 
production. And guess what's happened? In around two months of making this dietary switch, I've gained 13 kilos of weight, which is mostly muscle mass. And that is around 28 pounds of muscle for anyone that doesn't know kilos, I'll convert that for you. And yeah, that is just absolutely amazing. Obviously, a lot of that weight gain is from muscle that I had lost when I got down to 60 kilos. So I had the muscle memory there. If you don't know about muscle memory, when you've had a bigger size of muscle mass and you lose it and then you train again and eat correctly to gain weight, you actually gain the muscle back quite quickly in comparison to someone that never has got to your maximum muscle mass. So yeah, I did end up also gaining a little bit of water weight, but not that much, and a little bit of body fat, but a healthy amount of water weight and body fat. And yeah, I've had so many people, as you can see here, and I'm sure you can see it, the camera doesn't always make the physique look like it does in real life, but I am definitely way, way bigger. I had it yesterday where I hadn't seen a friend for around two months. And when he turned up at the restaurant, which he didn't know that I've been doing certain things with my diet to actually make myself gain weight, it was just like, whoa, man, you have gained so much weight. Like, wow, you're looking really, really jacked now. Like, I've never seen you before. And I've had this happen a few times with different people now that have seen me during my transformation that I've been going through for the last two months. And I'm not gonna show you any before and after photos because I'm actually in the process of continuing to gain weight. I'm gonna try and reach my maximum genetic potential with my muscle mass naturally. And there will be a video for that coming in the future. I'm not sure when, but you can stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe, click the bell button to be notified of when that video comes and other videos as well. So yeah, so far I'm really, really happy with the progress. And obviously, yes, by reintroducing more carbs, some of that's also gonna be muscle glycogen as well. But yeah, it's working. I feel amazing, there's no negative effects, so I'm going to keep doing it. And I know of many other friends as well that have been on a carnival diet, they've done a similar transition with adding in these types of foods that I've had. And they've found that they feel as good as on a carnival diet when they've been doing it for even for a year or two. Or they've found they've got certain benefits on top of the carnival diet that was already making them feel amazing. So I'm gonna continue on this path and keep you updated on this whole journey. And before I end the video, if you're someone that wants to see exactly what I eat in day and you want me to make some videos on this, let me know down below and I can make those videos for you soon to show you exactly what I've eaten to gain all of the weight that I've managed to gain. And if you've got any sort of questions that you want to ask me on this specific topic, let me know down below, leave your comments down below. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe. So as always, stay strong, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.